You know what I find very strange? Okay, so I'm reading articles. Ken Griffin made $4.1 billion last year. Citadel made $16 billion. Now, what I want all of you to understand is that this is not good. This is phenomenal. This is what's called record-breaking numbers. Record break, meaning that Citadel is by far right now the most successful hedge fund in history. These are facts. Now, when someone is super successful, when the rest of everyone else is like not just doing bad, but failing to the point of the tune of three hundred and fifty billion. That's how much retail lost. Retail lost three hundred and fifty billion last year. I would just think that Gary Gensler. It would maybe, you know, I don't know, a little like a light bulb would go off in the brain. Something would happen, right, where maybe he would have this epiphany. He would say, listen, something is not right here. Something is rotten in Denmark. How could one person be doing so well? How could one hedge fund be doing so well and everybody else is doing terrible? Not just terrible, freaking horrendous. Like, like I'm talking about so bad that it stinks like sewer rat. So, I mean, you would just think, like, like that's a big extreme, right? To be negative $350 billion and then to be positive $60 billion. Isn't that like a, there's a big gap there, right? So, this is kind of where I have to now question, does Gary Gensler understand this? Or is he a complete idiot? Is he just a moron, okay? Because if he does understand it, then he should research it. He should say, why is Citadel doing so good? With everybody else. And um, by the way, I'm even talking about even other hedge funds. Citadel's doing better than everybody. What is it about Citadel? What is their magic trick? Okay, what are they doing that see, oh, Ken Griffin is the smartest man in the world. He's a genius. He's this. Or is it possible he's involved in criminal activity? I'll say it's alleged. Is it possible he's doing things like naked shorting? Is it possible that he's using phantom shares, synthetic shares? But this is the thing I'm trying to make all of you understand. The SEC's transparent, transparency rule does not require Citadel to disclose if they are using synthetic shares. They don't have to do it. Okay? So you don't have to be a rocket scientist. You don't have to be Albert Einstein. You don't have to be Sigmund Freud to figure this out. If the SEC is not requiring Citadel to disclose the facts if they are using naked shorty or if they are using synthetic shares, then, then the SEC is either in on it or the dumbest frigging government agency that ever existed in history. That's it. Now, again, I'm going to say it's alleged, but I have the right to my opinion. So you might say, well, what are we going to do about it? Well, you got to wake up and smell the damn cappuccino. You got to wake up and smell the coffee. And if you can't smell it, my solution, it works for me, put some Sambuca in the cappuccino. Because we have to start pressuring the SEC. We have to start pressuring Adam Aaron, too, by the way. Okay, Adam Aaron is not excluded from any of this. He is the CEO of AMC. He should be hiring Share Intel. They should be doing research with West Christian if we have synthetic shares, phantom shares at AMC. I know all of you just want to think this is a fair Wall Street. You want to think it's a fair marketplace, and we've earned the, 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 the name dumb money. We're all dumb apes. We're all stupid, and Ken Griffin is so smart. No, I don't believe that for one second. I don't believe that for one second. I think there's things that need to be exposed. And if we don't push to expose it, believe me, Carrie Gensler, Adam Aaron, and Ken Griffin is not going to push to expose it. Why would they do that? Why would they push something that's against their agenda? Okay? So, just wanted to make a video on this. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. This video and all my videos are for entertainment purposes only because I am the world's greatest entertainer. The one, the only eight father in the GMC. Baby. Wow!